Hi guys, Rudin here, and in this video we are gonna learn how to use the if function, a function that everyone uses in Power Apps, especially for beginners, because I'm going to explain step by step how to do this, this app that it shows based on the selection, the picture of the day, and what the user should take for that day. So for example, if I select sunny, I'll see the sunny day here, and we'll see that we need to take sunglasses. If it's raining, we will see the rainy picture and the umbrella information. And if it's snowy, we are going to see the snowy picture and also that we need to take our boots to the snow. Okay, so if you want to learn how to conditionally show pictures and texts using the if function, just watch this video. Okay, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. In this first example, we want to show the picture of the one we sell based on the one we selected in the radio buttons, and also give the user a recommendation about what the user should take for th this day. For example, if I click here in sunny, I want to see the sunny day picture here in a bigger size, showing in this image placeholder. And I want to tell the user, please don't forget your hat, for example, or your sunglasses. If I click on rainy, I want to show the raining day and then say, don't forget your umbrella. If I click on snowy, I want to say, don't forget your boots. Okay. So we are going to understand how to do this. The, the goal of this class is to understand the if function. It's totally for beginners who are starting their journey with Power Apps. And I'm going to explain step by step because you will be always using this function. Okay, so let's see. Here I have three pictures I just uploaded to my app and I'm showing here. And I have a radio. So radio inputs with three options, sunny, rainy, and snowy. Once I click here, I will have a selected option and I want to show the picture based on the option. So how can we do this? Let's see. Here in the image, I just inserted an image. It's empty and I didn't select any image yet. I want to put a condition based on what's selected. So we need to know first What's the name of this input? In this case, is Rad Weather. I just called this name. It was Radio 1 and I renamed as a good practice. Practice. So if I click here, I will copy the name. And here in this image, in the image property, I will start using the if function. So first I will put if, open parentheses. And the first thing is the logical tests. As we see here, in the top already, it says a condition that results in a boolean value. What's a boolean? It's a true or a false value. For example, I want to check if the user selected sunny. So how can I do that? I will put a condition here. I will do something. I will do this. So I will put the name rad weather. That's the name of the selector. This input dot selected dot value. This will give me what's selected here. In this case, it's sunny. For example, if I highlight this value, I should be able to see what's selected. Uh, not actually. So let's copy this and just put in a label just to understand what this means. So control C, let's just insert a label. And in this label, I'm going to put that formula. See? So it gets the selected word here. In this case, it's sunny. Right now, it's rainy. So the red weather dot selected dot value will return the text that's selected. Okay? Coming back to our formula. So we are going to check if red weather dot selected dot value equals sunny. If it's equals sunny, this will return true and then we go to the second statement of the if function 
that's what's gonna happen if we have a true return. So we are going to put a comma because my language for my Power Apps is in English. If it's another language, may, maybe it's a semicolon. In Portuguese, for example, it's a semicolon. Uh, then I will just put what I need to show in case it's sunny is selected. In this case, I want to show the sunny picture. So I'll type the name of the picture. The name of my picture is sunny day. It's a picture I inserted here in the media part of the app when I upload it. Okay. Then I can put a comma and then I will be prompted to type what happens if it's a false statement. What if it's not sunny? Then I can show other picture. For example, I can show a rainy day. Rainy. Okay, so in this case, if it's sunny, I will show sunny day. If it's not sunny, if it's different than sunny, for example, if it has rainy here, it will show rainy day. Anything different from sunny will show rainy day in this case. Okay, we, just, we are still not thinking about the snowy day. So let's play the app and see what happens. So I'm clicking here. The selected value is sunny. It's returning true in that function and then showing the sunny day picture. Now I'm just, if I uncheck or if I check other things, for example, snowy, the, it's not true that the result in that formula is sunny. So I'm showing the snowy day. Okay. But in this case, I should be showing a snow, uh, the picture for snow, right? Because I'm, I want to show the snowy information. So let's go back to the formula and adapt that. We can put still more conditions inside the if function. So for example, we can do something like this. Uh, for right now we have the condition. Okay, let me just let's just see what we have here. I'm going to put a comment. Those two slashes means a comment, and whatever I type here won't be computed in the formula, won't affect the formula. It's just to, to do comments and to know what I'm doing. This is the condition. This is the result. This, this right after the comment, right? So this is the condition. And this will be the result if the condition is true. And this one is the result if the condition is false okay so every time the condition is false it will be raining day but it happens that inside the if function i can still put more conditions so i put the true here if i put another condition then we can have more conditions for example let's do another condition in this case i want to return something if it's the result is equal is snowy so I'm just going to copy this red weather dot selected dot value equals and then I will replace sunny by snowy. Okay. Let's just put here is snowy. And then after the comma, see the formula just change here to a logical test. That's the condition. Let me even just rename to the correct name, logical tests result if true then another logical test if the weather is snowy then after the comma what happens if this condition is true then i will return the snowy day that's the name of the picture i uploaded and if i put another comma i can put what will return if the condition is false so in case this first is not true, I'm going to evaluate the second. If this is not true, what happens for the false option? We can put now the rainy day. Because if it's not sunny and if it's not snowy, it's rainy. Okay, this can be done using another function that will make easier to, to visualize. It's called the switch function and we can use this in the second example. 
Okay, so this last one is the result if false. In this case, if all the conditions are false. So if all the conditions are false. Some people usually put ifs inside ifs and inside ifs because of other programming languages. But here in PowerFX, that's the language for Power Apps, we don't need to, to put a lot of nested if. That's how it's called. Okay. So now, if you select rainy, it will show rainy. Sunny, show rainy. Shows sunny. And the snow shows a snow day. Snowy day. Okay. So now, we just must say to the user what the user don't need, cannot forget. So, let's do this part now. We can still do a if function using the same strategy as we did here. If we copy this, it will work. We just need to change the results for each type of day. So let's do this. It will be quicker. And then we can change to a switch function to see how it would work. Maybe even in the, in the next video, I can redo everything with a switch. So we have two smaller videos, okay? Better for understanding. So let's do with the if, and I will record another video. Leave in the comments if you want a new video if you want the link, if you didn't find, something like this. And if you think this is useful. Okay, so let's copy. And then, in, the, in this part, I have just a label that I inserted here on insert text label. And I just put these question marks as a, the text. Okay, so now let's replace this by our if, our if function. So, control V. Right now, it's just giving some link to the images, but I just want to replace. So, if the weather is sunny, the, what, uh, what I will return is the words sunglasses. If the weather is snowy, what I will return is boots. And if if nothing is true, if it's not sunny and not snowy, I will return umbrella because I know that's rainy. Umbrella. I guess this is how we type. Let me just check. Umbrella. Yes. Okay, so based on what, it, what I select, it will show a result. Let's see how it will work. Okay, if I select sunny, I have one if here and one if here in the image and in the text property and it's showing the correct information. If it's rainy, it's falling in the false condition. It's not sunny, it's not snowy, so it's rainy and it's showing the picture of the rain and umbrella. And if it's snowy, it's going to that condition where it, we are checking for the snowy word and we are showing the boots. So we show the picture and the books. Please let me know if that was helpful. And if you want more videos for beginners like this in the comments, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.